you'd just like to turn to your neighbors and say a hello, and then we're going to have announcements. Good morning and welcome for welcome to worship this morning. Uh, I see a lot of grandparents out there, which means most of you know that it is the kids' production today, and we are super excited. They are super excited. There's lots of noise and chaos over on the other side, so uh, it's going to be a, a wonderful production. I do have a few announcements before we get there. Uh, the first is on Tuesday, there's a youth party from 6.30 to 8.30. There's sledding and a fire pit at Crana Lake. Uh, talk to Pastor Scott if you need some more details about that. Uh, our Christmas Christmas Eve services are at 5 and 7 p.m. here at the church. There's no sign-up necessary. Uh, it will be a candlelit service, and we'll have some uh, mostly singing. We're going to sing a whole bunch of the Christmas songs that we don't get to do through our regular Advent year. So um, I'm excited for that, and I hope you can make it out for that. Uh, the third announcement is that there was supposed to be a party and a bonfire tonight. It's also supposed to be minus 18 at 6 o'clock tonight. Those things are mutually exclusive. So there will not be a party and a bonfire tonight. We encourage you to have a game night at home. Spend some time with your family. If you set the time aside, uh, spend some time with one another or with your family. But we will not gather here at the church uh, to get frostbite. So uh, please enjoy somewhere warm tonight. Uh, Miss Carla has an announcement. Oh, Scott looks like fear in his eyes, like he knows he was supposed to go get Miss Carla five minutes ago. Anybody know a Christmas joke? <laughs> Why don't we do this? We will light our Advent candle, and then when Miss Carla gets here, we'll have one more announcement. So I'm going to invite the Giles family to come up and light our Advent candle for us. On this fourth Sunday of Advent, as we think about the coming of Jesus Christ, we light the candle of love. And we have love. <laughs> <laughs> the Bible tells us about Jesus in 1 John 4, 9, when it says, This is how God showed his love to us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we may live through him. We can bow in prayer. We thank you, Jesus, that you wanted to bring us love and right relationship into everyone's life. We thank you for the love that you have brought to us. We bring to you this morning uh, the prayers of the, uh, the people and the places on our heart this morning. Um, in your powerful name we pray. Amen. And I feel like I could do a whole sermon on the love candle being a little harder to light this year. <laughs> but I won't. Uh, Miss Carla has an announcement for us. Have I told you guys that I love my job? I love my job and one of, I love meeting your kids' friends, so that's one way to grow our kids' ministry, but the one of my favorite ways to grow our kids' ministry is when a baby's born. And if you drove to church this morning and saw, uh, it's a, I think it, they were out of it's a boy balloons, but there was a, it's a baby or 
welcome baby or something balloon hovering above the kennel, it's because when we hopped out of our van this morning, the baby balloon blew away. So it felt fitting though to be kind of above the stable. <laughs> No, just kidding. So, uh, Carl and Cassie Sabenga have added a new baby boy, and if you don't know Sabengas, that is baby boy number four for their family. So we're excited to um, welcome baby Isaac, Jerry. He was born on December 11th, and he was a little tiny, nine pounds, ten ounces. So he's baby brother for Eric and Lincoln and Eddie. So if you see the boys, make sure that yes, yes. That's exciting. Number two, the preschoolers and toddlers and babies and kindergartners, and if you have um, older kids home from school this week and wanna come, come. We're having a, a toddler uh, aimed um, event on Tuesday at 10, and we're gonna paint, the mamas are gonna paint nativity rocks, and the kids are gonna be entertained by our loving and capable teenagers who are gonna play with them in lots of Christmas themed activity stations, and it's gonna be super fun. And today we get to do our Christmas program. <laughs> Why don't we pray as we continue to worship God. Let's turn our hearts towards him once again. Heavenly Father, God, we do thank you uh, for today that we get to celebrate the birth of your son and the ways in which that brought your love nearer to this world. And Lord, we praise you and celebrate that in our hearts today and with this group of believers today. We pray a blessing upon the kids' production, that it would be fun and wacky, that there'd be something we can laugh about and enjoy. And Lord, that you would be praised and honored by the words that they share and the message that they bring. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, if you would all stand with us one more time. Thank you.
Jazz song. Amen. Well, at this time, we're going to be having some preschool and grade one and three songs and then the Christmas play. So if you all would like to be seated again, we'll get that going. 